Well, when the rare snow day in North Dakota occurs, it's often a time for fun in the snow or some relaxation at home for many students. But legislators from Jamestown are working on a bill that would make those days more about school and less about the storm. New this morning, the bill would give districts the option to conduct virtual learning on storm days. Becky Farr joins us live now to explain. Becky. Yeah, Tim and Alicia, public schools in North Dakota are required to provide students with at least 173 days of teaching time. Plus, they throw in two days considered makeup days for bad weather. Now, winter weather in our state could, of course, mean that those scheduled school days are interrupted. So it's up to the school district when or how to make up missed days. But with the backing of a new bill, districts could soon have a more timely option. North Dakota Superintendent Kirsten Baszler says making up storm days on previously scheduled days off or at the end of the school year can be a hassle for a lot of people. That school calendar changes and there's school that will be held that day because of a snow day. That interrupts families. It certainly interrupts um, administration and instruction. Administration's first priority is student safety, but education is of course the close second. Those students deserve to have a day of teaching and a day of learning. That's why Baszler said a bill providing a virtual learning option is an important item for lawmakers to consider. And parents that I spoke to are on the same page. Yeah, I'd be in favor. Why not? They can do it at home. To help keep the kids up to date uh, on what's going on, give them something to do, keep the education right where it should be. I mean, it keeps you know, the kids safe at home, but they're still learning at the same time. The bill wouldn't require this of any school district. It would instead give the freedom to have it as an option. If the school district follows through, it'd be up to local administration on how to get the right technology into the hands of students to ensure that at least 95% of teachers were actively instructing and engaging students through the virtual education plan. It would still completely be up to that school district to choose how they made up that snow day. School cancellations don't really happen all that often here in North Dakota, but for example, Minot had 52 inches of snow from October to February back in the 2016-2017 school year. I'll never forget that. There were only two storm days that year. But in years past, school's also been canceled because of severe wind chill. It's not always just snow. So if the storm days ever surpass the two slated days already set aside for makeup days, virtual learning could be 